All right, the number one method, I'm gonna tell you guys it right now. So it is. Right, yo what is up youtube today we are back and yes you have seen the title correctly i'm exposing the secret methods the secret source everything that everybody has been gatekeeping from you with regards to catching dmas in pc checks now i've researched this for hours spoken to so many people about this some of the main people shout out to yanis is one of the main suppliers that got me a lot of these methods and also some of the other detected ac pc checkers who did research for me and got these methods together guys this is the place after this video you are going to be able to catch dmas inside of pc checks completely in user mode to an extent one of the one of the tools is kind of level but we won't worry about that for now guys this is it this is the video i will stop yapping and guys what do you think my hair i don't know i think my hair is kind of fresh i didn't pull a jinxie though when you got the fucking hog rider cut bro i am not doing that unless we get like 100k likes bro mum's like anyway boys i'm gonna stop yapping let's get into this shit and let's get into first method they get better as they go along so yeah method number one let's send this shit all right boys here we are method number one the worst method out of the three i'm going to show you today there's still something that you need to look at. What we're using is event log. Inside of event log, when you unplug and plug in a device, even if it's in the PCI port or USB port now, DMAs can actually be in the USB-C port now. They all log inside of an event log. So first things first, you're gonna wanna check to see if the event log's been cleared. That is inside the system event log, which is right at the top here. And you guys should be able to go through and see the cleared event log here. And it's gonna be event IDs 104 that is gonna tell you when event logs have been cleared. We go filter current logs 104. And the one we're gonna be looking at today is the kernel p and p which is kernel plug and play which is an event log that logs everything that gets unplugged and plugged into the device so we're going to go into application and service logs we're going to go to microsoft windows and then go down to kernel p and p we're going to go to device management and then guys as you can see here we're already starting to see things here we're going to be looking at id 1010 which is going to be when things are surprise removed on the bus so if we go 101010 right here then we're going to be able to see some devices that have been surprise removed moved from the bus so a couple of things you want to look at is usb ones you know what it is because it starts with it so usb right here we've got other ones swd usd usb storage volume stuff like that we'll go through also we want to look at ones that start with pci i have never unplugged the pci device on my computer so i'll just show you quickly what pci devices look like as well just to make sure you know here we go this is what a pci device looks like exactly the same as usb but just starts with pci then what you guys can see is after that it has ven underscore and then a number so that is the vendor id of the device so in the configuration space of the device it has a vendor id and a device id so this is the vendor id and this is the device id so what we're going to go ahead and do is, is we're going to grab the vendor id and then we're going to go over to a site named devicehunt.com is going to be a link in the description it's really easy to find just scroll down and then we're going to take a look i just went past it and we're going to look at either pci or usb devices so if you have a usb device unplugged before the check or pci device you're going to want to have to pop in the vendor id and then go ahead and grab the device id as well then go ahead and click search It's going to search for absolutely the whole of their database and it's going to tell you if it's a known device or not oh shit here we go again as you guys can see it's a known device it's older lake pca espi controller sounds like something in my computer that's really technical that i have no clue what it is but yeah if it comes up saying unknown device or unknown vendor or something similar it could be a dma because sometimes people spoof the dma vendor id and device id to not be a legitimate one and it might not be in any database it might just be a random one they pick obviously some dmas do pick actual real vendor ids and device ids but some don't so it's still a good method you need to do and i know a lot of people that have found dma cheaters using this method but that's why i say it's the worst because people can actually spoof their dmas to the point where it doesn't actually be found with this method but still 100 a great method you guys need to do and this is all done automatically through detect.ac great success so this is my pc cheat scanning software we have over 53,000 scans over just under three just over three and a half thousand paying users every month for our tool guys you have to get on this PC checking tool. We have tons and tons and tons of different games from Rainbow Six Siege, Fortnite, Minecraft, Fire Emblem. Anyway, I'll stop advertising it. This automates it completely by filling in things inside the URL here and here. And then we check it on our end. 
if it's a cheat or if it's an unknown device or not. And then we output it inside the results page, basically saying, hey, look, this is an unknown device. You need to check it out. We give you the vendor ID and device ID. So we automate this whole process for you, along with a ton of other things to do with PC checking and catching cheaters. Anyway, let's go on to PC checking method number two. Okay, guys, method number two. This is the second best method, in my opinion, which is actually a kernel level tool made by somebody who makes DMA firmware. So you guys have to know this is legitimate. It's called Drive Scan. This is just a quick little tutorial on how it works. This is the link to it, and it's going to be in the description. So, scans the PCA, PCA, PCA client? What? PCI cards on the system and test them for abnormal behavior. So right click on the start.bat, run as administrator or manually create a kernel service using the RT called or SYS driver. Start it. Don't worry about that. Just use the start.bat. Um, open CMD as admin, navigate to the client folder, run the command. There's the command and this is what it's going to look like. It's going to scan the devices and a flag looks like this. So this is what PCI leech lo looks like, which is what the majority of DMAs run off. As you guys can see here, PCI Express downstream switch port, invalid cap reporting, and it looks like it's suspicious. So guys, this is another crazy method. It's just one command. You install something, you run a command, it tells you if they're cheating or not. And then you can be like, hey, look, what is this device? Get them to turn on the camera and bang, you found their DMA. Look at you go, bro. You were the best. Maybe not, but who knows? This is another crazy method. It is by far, in my opinion, the greatest method out there. It's still number two though. Number one is something different. It's number two because number one, it's almost 100% detection. Number two, it can be a bit iffy here and there. And also it doesn't catch USB DMAs, which is something brand new to the scene. USB DMAs are crazy. They plug into the USB 3.0 port or the flash USB port, whatever you want to call it. And you can cheat and it acts as a hard drive. Like, isn't that fucking crazy? Anyway, I'm not going to keep waiting around and we're going to go on to the number one method on how to catch a DMA as a PC checker for any game at all. I'm talking Siege, Valorant, uh, Fortnite, Minecraft, 5M, GTA, Rage MP, Alt V, whatever. You catch your mum cheating, anything, bro. Like, you will be able to find it with this method. Now, I'm gonna stop yapping. Let's go on to method number one. The best method currently for catching DMA cheaters. All right, the number one method, I'm gonna tell you guys it right now. So it is gonna be checking for DCC and CI support on the monitor connected to the computer. Now, this isn't a direct detection for DMAs, but it actually detects fuses which draw ESP and fuses are actually a lot more common than DMA themselves as all it does is draw an ESP because it captures frame by frame uh, into it catches frame by frame behavior inside your monitor and what we do is is we check to see if they have DCC or CI support on the monitor and then if they don't we flag it as suspicious because only really really old monitors don't have that support almost all the brand new ones 60 hertz and above especially 144 hertz and above do have this support some don't some really old ones don't but because it's so little and it's such a little margin of ones that aren't aren't found that it's it's going to be almost 100 percent detection if this comes up so there's no software for this it can only be done in a program we already have it inside detect.ac and it flags saying this support isn't enabled on the monitor they're almost definitely cheating and it also catches the USB C dmas as well because they they also use fuses just the same as anybody else yes the dma is different the fuse is still the same so we also find the fuses. Now, I got a bit of information of Google right here. So DDC slash CI, so display data channel or command interface is a protocol used by monitors to communicate with a graphics card or host PC. Now, it allows the host computer to send commands and receive information from the display. Examples of things it controls and communicates through the protocol is brightness contract, monitor model slash series. You know, when you click the button on your monitor, like stuff like that i'm guessing or stuff directly in your graphics card that it communicates three hours later a dma based hdmi fuser usually involves attaching a hardware capture device or second monitor to the gpu output the second device mirrors the main display output and let's cheat is extract frame data in real time now that also makes me think we could probably flag maybe not i was gonna say we could probably flag uh graphics cards for having two outputs but then what are people have two monitors like what are you fucking thinking about bro the trick is real monitors almost all of them support ddc or ci and hdmi fuses like capture cards dummy plugs or hardware sniffers usually do not support it but guys, the only way to check for this, I haven't seen any software out at the moment that does it. All that's in is inside the tech.ac. It is super cheap, super affordable. It is the best choice you could take in developing your PC checking knowledge. 
guys, join the Discord in the description. But those are the top three methods on how to catch the MAs. Thank you guys for sticking around. Join the Discord, communicate with me. Any issues or problems, let me know. Any questions about PC checking, we have a whole team put together. Come over, bro. I keep spitting a shit ton in this fucking video. I'm going to have to wipe down my monitor with a fucking mop. Anyway, uh, you're a fucking mop. Stop laughing. Um, anyway, boys, thank you for coming down. I'm going to see y'all in a bit.